Milo is a queer transgender Jamil Shalaska, American. <laughs> Artist with acclaimed works in poetry, stand-up comedy, theater, film, and music production. Dilo, play Dilo plays Taj on the Amazon Prime's Transparent. HBO's Looking, and he's just finished a solo out run of his solo play, Defunct, here in the Davidson Valentini Theater. Why don't you put your hands together and let's welcome to the stage, D-Lo! Yeah. Um, you see when I'm at the comedy clubs and somebody's like, he this, did this and this and that, and then, and then I come out there and I'm like, hey everyone, and everybody's like. <laughs> and I call it, I call out the straight people. I'm like, yo, I know what y'all thinking. You're thinking, wait, is that a girl who looks like a man? or a boy who looks better than my man. <laughs> Do I bash it or fuck it? So, you know, like, when people, you know, like, after I get, after the profiling, when people understand, like, okay, wait, I'm not a man of color in that way, I don't need to, like, the cops don't need to be called type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, then, you know, like, that thing happens, I get stared at so much. Come on, I know y'all trans folks, y'all feel me, y'all get stared at so much, you know what I'm saying? That now, just to let off some steam, I stare at people. <laughs> Innocent people. I stare at motherfuckers coming in the Trader Joe 12 o'clock midnight in their Snoopy pajamas, I'm like. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not an asshole. I'm Sri Lankan. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you three stories, three of my coming out stories. John Arnim, and thank you to the Center for Trans Pride. Thank you to all y'all, I know, and thank you to everybody who came up on the stage who was probably in Transparent. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, so three coming out stories. First time I came out, I came out as gay. Um, second time I came out, I had to prove that I was a functioning gay. So I told my mother that I had a girlfriend. And then the third time I came out as trans. I'm gonna tell you all these three stories quick okay y'all ready, ready. Yeah. Okay. so the first time i came out it was uh i was a senior in college two more months to graduate i get a phone call from my father you know well what's going on huh nothing up but what's going on i wanted to tell you we found two men for you <laughs> two men for me but what for you don't know what the hell you're going to do after college you have to get married wait you're trying to arrange my marriage up really no but no you know thank you so much you're so kind uh, i'm gonna go now no, 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 what's the problem, huh? There are two doctors in North Carolina. No, Upper really, I'm, I'm, I'm too, super good, thank you so much. No, 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 why, what, what, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> no, what, I don't have a boyfriend. Then what's the bloody problem? They're brothers, you can pick which one you want. <laughs> so the guy that have it. Like, no, what, I'm fine. What, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> well, what had happened was, I, what are you trying to tell me that you're gay? I know you're not gay. You, are you gay? But I think you're asking a question you don't really want to know the answer to. No, I know you're not gay. You are not gay. Don't tell me you're gay. I know you're not gay. Are you gay? <laughs> yes, Papa, I'm gay. No, you're not gay. Uh, that's when phone, phones could click. Anyway, uh, then two minutes later, my mother gives me a call. Uh, Dilo, uh, so... Uh, Appa just said something. Oh God. Amma what? Dilo, are you a gay? Uh, yes, Amma, I'm a gay. Well, for how long have you known that you're a gay? Uh, pretty much all my life, Amma. Who else knows that you're a gay? Amma, pretty much everybody but you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, then it was like a rough time, moved my ass to New York, but in between I came and I tried to like talk to my parents and uh, you know, uh, when they say that, uh, you know, like you would think that if you came out once that people would remember that shit. <laughs> when they say coming out is a process, what they really mean is that people have selective hearing because I came in and I told her, Amma, that girl that you met um, two months back, that's my girlfriend. No. <laughs> This is not a yes or no question. This is not even a question. What the fuck do you mean? I mean, I didn't say fuck that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I don't curse on my own. A uh, little bit, a little bit. Anyway, so I said, what the hell? What 
what, what do you, what, do you, what is, this? this is not even a yes or no question. This is not even a question, I'm a, uh, what do you mean? No, no, it won't work. I'm a, it's been working fine for two years. I'm gonna marry this girl. No, I'm a, what, no, no, she's a Christian. <laughs> I was like, I'm a, what the hell, she's a Catholic, but what the hell, that doesn't even, it's not like her Amma's mad that she's dating a Hindu and now we gotta go migrate somewhere safely because of bad Catholic Hindu relations. <laughs> Like, you just want me to be, like, celibate, like those holy people you keep sending me to try and change me. All these holy people were like, gay is okay. Which made my mother think that all the holy people were gay and celibate. Of course, not all of them are celibate. Anyway, so, so, so my mother's so angry and she wants to say, I'm gonna kill myself. But because she's Hindu, she believes in reincarnation. So she says and said, I'm going to go to the Himalayan mountains and meditate forever. <laughs> anyway, my father was trying to be supportive. He was like, you know, so Liza's your girlfriend, huh? Yeah, but what's going on? Oh, I just wanted to know, is she of the same proclivity? <laughs> I'm just asking, is she of the same inclination? <laughs> oh, are you asking if she's queer? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Yeah, but she's queer. Oh, good, then I approve. <laughs> Immigrants. Anyway, so um, then the last time I, I came out was, um, give it up to our interpreters real quick. Thank you for all the beautiful work that you do. Um, so, so the last time I came out, you know, I had to come out and tell my mother that I had a girlfriend and that I had top surgery, right? So like, I'm like, oh great, this is, this is the end, end of it all. Like we wasn't even talking that much. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm, I have to do this, I have to live my truth. So um, I, I, I came into her house and I was like, I'm gonna have to tell you two really fucking important things and you're not gonna like it. In fact, you're gonna get crazy and you're gonna get, uh, you're just gonna get crazy. And she's like, then don't tell me. <laughs> and I was like, I have to, I have to get this off my chest. <laughs> okay, okay, I, just had, I had to, I had to, okay? All right. so, then, so, then, so then I'm like, I'm gonna listen. Um, you know, uh, I, I have to tell you this thing. And she was cooking tofu, so she's like, I already know. And I'm like, what do you, what do you know, Alma? She said, I know that you have a girlfriend. I was like, yeah, um, I do. Um, you okay with that? Uh, okay. I was like, Alma, this next thing, this is really crazy. I already know. I'm like, you don't know this one, Alma, trust me. No, I know you're planning on having a surgery. Uh, kind of, um, Alma, I, I actually already um, had the surgery. You already had the surgery? <laughs> Who was with you? I was like, um, Nushi and Thumbi were with me, and uh, you know, are you okay? I'm a, I, I'm a, are you okay? Don't take the injections, it's not safe. I'm a, it's safe for the most part, but we could talk about that later. Like, are you okay? Are you sure it's safe? Yeah, I'm a, for the most part, but like, let's try, are you okay? Okay. But then I got scared. I was like, this is the calm before the storm, and pretty soon there's gonna be tofu flying all over the fucking kitchen. So I was like, I came around to her and I said, Amma, listen, are you sure you're okay, Amma? And she was like, I need ginger. I was like, okay, let's go to the Trader Joe, and plus you're running low on your hot cocoa, let's go. So we run over to the Trader Joe, I'm tripping out. I came out, I was like, what the fuck is happening? Nothing's happening, oh, that's weird. <laughs> then we get to the Trader Joe, we get the ginger, but we can't find the fucking hot cocoa. So I said, I'm gonna go up to the clerk guy, go ask him where the hot cocoa is. You know, the clerk, you know, you know, this, you know Trader Joe, go ask him where the hot cocoa is. And so meanwhile, I'm looking for the hot cocoa. I find it on the far wall on the very bottom shelf and I get it and I'm walking through and I'm looking up and down the aisles to see where my alma is and I can't find her and I'm like, fuck, she's crumpled up in the corner crying or some shit. But then I find her, she's near the hot cocoa and she's with Trader Joe. And I went up to her and I said, alma, look, I already got you your hot cocoa, see? And she looks up at Trader Joe and she looks up at me and she looks at Trader Joe and she said, oh, don't worry, he already got it for me. <laughs> and then I was like, Amma, you just called me he and I gave her the biggest motherfucking hug ever. I had stopped giving her hugs because I didn't want her to know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gave her the biggest hug and I was like, Amma, you 
just call me he. And she said, you're confusing me. <laughs> but we're working on it. We're working on it. Thank you so much, the center and everybody. I love you all. See y'all out there. All right, one more time for Gio.